These are the items you will need to make your packet of treble. A dark marker, a pair of scissors, a sheet of paper, it may be colored or white will do, and you need a plastic gallon Ziploc bag or a clear slip sleeve to put your items in when you're done. Set the slip sleeve aside and get your paper out. Now this is going to begin just like we did with your rhythm kit. We're going to take the short end and fold it over to the other short end, line up the edges, press and crease. So pick it up, get your scissors, and follow that line to cut. Okay, now you put those two together and repeat the same thing. Short edge to short edge, fold, crease, pick up, look at the line, use your scissors to cut on that fold line. Now you have these four sections, you're going to put those together and fold a third time. Fold over, short edge to short edge, crease, pick up, look at that line of fold and take your scissors to cut that across. Now if your scissors aren't very strong, you may need to divvy up the amount that you cut at a time. Now you should have eight triangles. You're going to pull one of those off to begin work, set the other ones aside. And all we need to do with the first seven is write the first seven letters of the alphabet. Please use capital letters. A is our first letter. Make it as neat as you can. Set it aside and go to your next letter. These are going to be used as signal cards in our online meetings as well as within a practice part that comes later in this video. Now if at any time I'm moving too fast just pause the video and resume play when you're ready to go to the next thing. Last letter, G. And then you have one rectangle left. This one we're going to turn this way and we're going to do a check mark. We will use this for our signal card also. And we're going to set all of those aside. Now check to, that you have all your letters. I'm going backwards because that's the way my pile shows. We have G, F, E, D, C, B, and A, and then of course there's the check mark. Now push those up, and we're going to use these letters for signaling. Now first of all, I'm going to show you this. This is what we are working on learning how to read. Now these lines and spaces are like stair steps in low to a high sounds and this little sign right here tells us that it is the higher sounds the name of this sign is called the G clef or the treble clef and each of these lines and each space also is given a name a letter name now we're going to uh, practice how to identify these different pitches. Now there's a saying that goes with the lines. E, G, B, D, F. Now that doesn't make a word. So we made up a saying using the first letter of each line name in the saying. Every good bunny deserves fun. You can make up your own saying but that's the one I like to use. Okay, those are the names of the lines. So any note that has the line running through it like this, 
This is the E line. It runs right through the middle of this note. That becomes an E pitch. It also has the second name that's a rhythm name called the whole note. Okay, I'm going to erase that. I'm going to erase these lines, those line names. And now we're going to look at naming the spaces. Now for this, it does spell a word. Can you read what it is? Read from bottom to top. Face. F-A-C-E. Now as before, if we have a note in this space, this is in the F space. This is a whole note F. Now if I erase that and I put the notes in one of the other spaces, say up here, it becomes a whole note E. For wherever you have the note head, it takes on the name of the space, or if the line's running through it, it takes on the name of the line. All right, now we're going to erase all this, and we're going to practice remembering our sayings for identifying the lines and the spaces. This is where your letter names come in. Now, to start with our spaces, if I drew a whole note here, what would its pitch name be? Would it be A, F, C? What do you think? Show on your pitch card name. It should be an F. Remember our saying, our word is F-A-C-E to name the spaces. Let's go for another one. This time I'm picking a line note. That's a whole note, but what is its pitch name? Let's go with our saying, every good bunny deserves fun. E, G, B for bunny. That means that this is the pitch note B. And in the game, once we get going, or the challenge, you would show or signal on Zoom using your B letter card. Let's practice a few more. This time, I'm going to put the note down. I will wait for you to have time to pick out your signal card and have it ready so that you can practice on your own using this video. Here we go. Whole note, what is its pitch name? Select the pitch name card. Think the word. If you selected C, you are correct. Let's go for another one. A line note this time. Notice how the line's going straight through the note. Remember our saying, every good bunny deserves fun. Fun starts with F and that F is the name of this line. So the pitch name is F and you would signal the F card. Another one. This is a line note. The line is running straight through the middle of the note. Can you tell me its pitch name? Think of our saying, every good bunny deserves fun. Select your pitch name card and show it. It should be a G. Now, there is an online video that it shows how the pitches are organized on this staff called the G clef or treble staff. And I will post that link on Class Dojo for you to go to and review what we've talked about here in class. It's a very good animated tran uh, um, very good animated uh, showing of how all of this works. Okay, now it's come time to put up, oh, I forgot to erase my whole note. 
time to put up all of our gear. Now you don't have this section, so I'm gonna, that's just for me. You're gonna get your clear slip sleeve or your Ziploc bag. Uh, and you're going to pick up your pitch names. You can keep them in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, if you like, but it's not a must. Put all your things, including your check, together, and you're gonna store them inside that bag. Now, if you want to put your name on it, uh, put it small on the bottom corner of your bag or your slip sleeve, and that way you'll remember who it belongs to, and if you wanna put music on there, that would be good too. All right, that concludes our video for today. I will be seeing you online. Bye.